All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kudobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of glass panes and enclosures, which is being brought to you by forum user 2001 Craft. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a variety of structural glass pieces, as well as pre-made glass enclosures for you to let loose your creativity with so that you can create even more interesting and potentially strange ships and or bases. So let's just jump right on into the VAB and have a gander at the currently eight different parts that make this mod possible. And let's start by grabbing ourselves a Mark I command pod for size comparison sake as always and head down to the structural tab. <laughs> Thankfully on this mod, everything's in one central location and there aren't many parts, so we really don't have to bother going to the search bar or of course creating a custom category and well, that's a nice change of pace. And we'll start by having a gander at the composite mega strong glass panels. And we'll go here because well, it's kind of the most basic part. We'll skip over this dome here for now as it's kind of freaking massive. And we have these different glass panels in three different sizes. We have the one by one, the two by two, and the four by four, which I find interesting that it goes from two to four, but Oh well, I mean it just makes me curious, where did 3x3 three three go, but what are you gonna do? Let's pop all these down onto here, oh it's not wanting to attach, there we go, it went up there. And let's have a little zoom in to take a look at these things. Now you can tell it's not exactly the most complicated of models or textures, but then again it's really not meant to be. It's meant to be glass, just a giant glass pane for you to work with and, you know, do whatever it is you wish to do with it. So it's really not meant to be the most elaborate of designs, and for what it is, I think it works quite nicely. Now they work very similarly to the typical structural panels that we have down here, in that you can attach them over to the side like so, so that you can build large flat structures or walls, etc., to your heart's content, and it works quite well. Now the next pieces we have to show off here are two different triangular pieces. The first is the composite mega strong glass panel tri, which goes right there, excellent, and as you can see, it roughly fits the 2x2 two two panel size, and is just a lovely triangle that goes upwards. Now, one kind of oddity about the triangles, that this goes for both uh, this current one out here as well as the irregular triangle, if we pop this one over here... You can see that the uh, textures on those kind of flash. I'm not entirely sure, it's only on the triangles, but it does seem to be a problem with the mod at the moment. None of the other glass panels do it, except for the triangles. And now as for the triangles, as you can see, the regular one here fits quite nicely to the 2x2 two two panel, and the irregular one, well, it's kind of irregular, so it's a little bit shorter than the 2x2 two two size, uh, but it does fit very well for making like corners, things like that. In fact, you could make your own custom dome for it if there wasn't a pre-made one way up here. But again, we'll get to that one momentarily. So the next part I want to have a look at is the composite mega strong glass tube, which is four meters by 2.5 meters. And if we pop this sucker right there and zoom out a bit, there we are. We just have a giant glass tube for your Kerbals to go through. And it's it's pretty fun, I love this thing. Now actually, if you remember, we looked at a mod that was similar to this with glass tubes a while back. I can't for the life of me remember the name of it, uh, but it, it amuses me to see these uh, essentially Kerbal hamster tubes in yet another mod. It just makes me smile, so we'll roll with it. And the final sort of pain piece is down here, interestingly, the tube segment alloy adapter. And this is really meant to go on the end of the tube so that it does have a circular opening for Kerbals to go through. And then you attach panes to the other sides around it to give it a nice snug fit. And it fits uh, quite nicely, very well. Uh, personally, I wish it uh, maybe came in other varieties, perhaps a circular variety one that would fit it nicely. So you had a smaller circle and then an outer circle 
or maybe one that was octagonal, perhaps. It might be quite interesting to see that, but then again, that's just my wishful thinking. Who knows, though, maybe we'll see a variety of different uh, solid connector panels in the future. I think it would be quite nice. So let's actually dump off this baby and zoom out, as we're going to need a bit more room, for the final piece, the composite geodesic dome. And this... Oh, I love it. Now, as you can see, you can actually sort of attach this thing radially to other parts, which is quite cool for making perhaps a large uh, sphere for a space station. But, of course, it has an attachment point right there dead center at the bottom, so we can hook it right to the top of our command pod and create this wonderful gigantic dome now as you can see each of the panes is kind of bubbled out slightly and as i was mentioning earlier with the irregular triangle or even even the uh, normal triangle you could potentially make your own dome very very painstakingly and that of course will be a bit more flat whereas this one definitely does have that sort of a bulbous nature to each of the panes which personally I quite like it gives it a bit more texture to things and I think it makes it look quite lovely but yes here we go we have a beautiful dome for you to create your own custom biodomes on other worlds or as the mod maker actually suggests perhaps making an underwater base with these could be interesting. I've tried it a couple of times so far, and as of yet, I've uh, not succeeded. They've all exploded before making the bottom. But if you're a better, you know, builder than I am, and you probably are out there, you could probably find a way to do it. Now, as for what you could potentially do with it, just to give you a quick kind of crappy idea, as you all know, I'm not the greatest of builders ever. I created this glass dome little structure here. Oh, God, no, that's not the final one. Did I forget to save the final one? Let's load that. Ah, there we go. And just my sort of idea of what you could do with these things, just thrown together really quickly, but basically making a habitable biodome that you could send to another planet with a lovely little command pod in the center if we actually zoom in here which you can get your Kerbal out of and walk around and go visit the other habitats here and here to basically serve as uh you know inside the biodome homes and then you have the glass tubes to hold it up and you could potentially throw a Kerbal down there for you know reasons <laughs> And yes, just a basic quick little idea of something that you could create. I'm sure, once again, you guys out there have a lot more creativity than me, but let's take this out to the launch pad to show you that it does, even without any additional strengthening, and I do not have other mods installed, so no joint reinforcement or anything like that. And these glass panes hold together, as you can see, very very nicely. We aren't having any issues whatsoever, and we can even get out our Kerbal, though let's actually take a nice little brief look at this thing first, and look at it in all of its glory. Ah, yes, our beautiful and yet somewhat crappily, well, more than somewhat, made dome that, uh, you could see potentially on Duna, perhaps, maybe put some little greenery in there if you had a mod that added it in, which, of course, we have looked at several in the past. But, of course, what I love about it most is, well, I can get a Kerbal out. <laughs> And he can walk around on the inside of this glass enclosure and do, you know, whatever. You can set up experiments in here, or as I said, add some greenery to the place from some other mods, or make some sort of way for him to escape so he could actually leave the biodome. But for the time being, you know, it's just a nice, lovely little home for him. And that, that makes me happy. And like I said, for, you know, whatever reason, you could just chuck him down the tube. And there we go. Jebediah is now in a glass case of emotion. Lovely. And he's trapped. And that is basically it for the episode, my friends. It's really all to show you on the mod. It's uh, not that many pieces. Uh, hopefully more will come in the future. I'd love to see some other kinds of glass enclosures. Uh, maybe an actual glass sphere that had openings on either end for the tubes to attach to. I think that'd be cool so you can make space stations with it. But these are wishful thinking. Hopefully the mod maker will continue to make more parts that will look even better. And, well, if you guys 
guys come up with any really cool glass design bases or ships, I'd love to see your final product. Tweet me or Facebook me a picture of it. I would be very intrigued to see what you could build with this. And of course, I do hope that you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for the next when we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.